Today's problems. Nighttime. Can't see the stars. Too many lights. Well, I took off the auto locking hubs. They did work for the longest time, and I found the outer retaining nut loose. And I haven't taken off. There's the nut on top of the four-wheel drive auto cap. I haven't taken off the inner nut to see if it has the pin because I have a problem. And the problem is the following. Turn it so it engages the four teeth and then it ain't coming off. The hub is mangled. And I don't know why it was one thread loose or one turn loose rather. But that should have absolutely no effect whatsoever on the threads. Those threads are good, see? Now my bearing is totally tight. And loosen it off. I'll tighten it again. It's finger tight, so to speak. And then back off just a little bit, right there. But, the problem is, I can't tell. Well, maybe I can tell. Hang on, it's tough here at night. I was busy in the junkyard and helping Fruit Loops on the roof. Hang off my screwdrivers, I shouldn't put some goopy into the hub. Where is that pin? See, I can't push the pin through from the other side unless I remove the nut. And I can't remove the nut because the hub threads are mangled. And I'll show you what the hub looks like in a minute. I'm trying to find where the pin used to be. It's stripped off like usual. Right there. That's where the pin used to be. And I can put the impact gun on the socket. I can get that nut off, but I'm going to destroy the hub. I'll show you what the hub looks like. Come into my partially cleaned shop. Look at this. Floor. A uh, hub. Never throw anything away. Here is what is probably a bad hub. Bad hub. You're a bad hub. That sounds like George Carlin. This is what the hub looks like. Oh, look at that. I got a cap in the uh, end. Mangled. See how I had to hammer that off? I wonder if this is the hub from Mix Match, or did I use that hub or axle? I think I took the hub off of the black half-ton pickup with the red interior with this leaf spring through the bed in the big barn. Anyhow, this is the hub. The axle goes through it. The hub bolts onto the steering knuckle with six bolts. And this one was rusted on. I had to beat the crap out of it to get it off. Let's put it on macro here. Yeah. Macro mode. So I can dress all that denting mangling from the chisel off with a file or a grinder. That's not a problem. And those threads are in nice shape. See, there's the index that stops that second, the washer between the two nuts from turning. You put the first nut on, and the pin sticks out, and the washer engages that pin, and that notch stops the first nut from turning. Then you put the second nut on, they look very similar. You put the second nut on and it holds everything together so it shouldn't turn so you get your proper bearing preload or slack. So I don't really feel like pulling off that hub. It's an hour's worth of work. I've got to pull the caliper, blah, 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 blah. Take these bolts off. i got to clean this hub up. What's the answer? I don't know. I'll have to think about it.
Get all my steel on the shelf over there. And my steel that was here is now gone. That's the differential with the 355 gears that I may have put in the Corvair. Maybe. Maybe. Nice and clean. Just a bit of oil. All right. Back to my disaster. Decide what to do to hold that lock nut in place. Maybe I'll weld it. I'll weld it in place. Oh, boy. So, 15 minutes later, here's the scoop. I adjusted my preload on the bearing just where I liked it. Very unscientifically, I tightened it and then backed off a little bit. But I decided not to try pull the nut off the hub and mangle the threads, which would require me to dismantle this assembly. I've got other things to do, like eat something. But what I did discover is... Oops, pressed the button by mistake. What I discovered is a coat hanger is almost the same diameter as that pin that's busted off. And I was able to push the pin in to the first lower preload nut using a small drift that I bought at a government garage sale, flea market, swap meet, years and years and years, 15, 20 years ago. I was able to push it in. It's hard to hold the light. I was able to push the pin in slightly. And I'm going to take a piece of coat hanger and I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to stick it in there and then crush it in place when I put the top nut in place. And it can't undo because the wheel turns clockwise as does the nut. So I'll get it pretty close. It'll be fine. And my battery's dead. Time to get another battery. One thing I did do on the other side, one of the people that watches my videos made a video of his K5 Blazer and he was holding the camera sideways. He noticed that his hub was loose. And you know something? The Allen keys hold the hub locker to the inside, but nothing holds it to the hub. Just the friction from the rubber seal and that snap ring stops the whole thing from sliding out. But actually, nothing holds this cap to the hub. It's just held to the locker on the inside. So yeah, they can move. Maybe you just need to get a couple of O-rings, rubber O-rings from Warren and drill those holes at whatever that distance was. 10, 30 seconds, 5 sixteenths. Not much difference from those two holes. So, I'm going to get another battery. They scrape a bit of this rust off. And uh, something else I noticed. I can move my axle up and down slightly. Oh, the battery's going to go dead and stop the production. But watch this. Not much resistance from those Monroe shocks. Like they're dead. That's why my spring rebounders are shiny for my rubber stopper that hasn't rusted off. I've been bouncing off my leaf spring tops with my front shocks. A junk. My dual front shocks. Rare optional, a three-quarter ton. Sierra Classic. Diesel. Turbo weasel. 